Hello and welcome. Today I am excited to introduce a new MCG tool that will revolutionize the path constraint in 3ds Max. It will make it easy to control the speed of an object, adjust the starting position, and make different objects move at the same speed on different paths, giving you complete control over your animation. Let's dive in and see how this tool can build into your animation projects. As you may already know, the way path constraints works is by animating an object from the start point of the spline to the end, in the timeline available. But this tool will enable you to specify the speed so it doesn't matter how long the spline is. There are two ways to use the tool. The second is much easier, using a companion script, but that's for later. I'll explain the normal way first. In our example, we have a dummy car and a spline. I'll start by selecting the car and applying the path constraint to the spline. In the motion panel, we will have a new path constraint controller. Let's expand it and select percent linear float. Then click on assign controller and choose 3D R&D path constraint by speed. A new window will pop up. Now let's change the speed by constant. And for this example, I'll put 300 units in the constant speed and change per time to minutes. Then we will choose the same spline as path constraint. Finally, in the included frame, I'll put the same start and end of our timeline. Now let's play the animation. The car is moving with the speed we specified. If we change constant speed to 600, the car starts to move faster and slower if we change it to 100 units. Let's talk about speed by object option. We will create a dummy and a point. And make the dummy as parent. Now make sure to change the coordinate by parent. Let's move the point 3 units away on the x-axis. I'll choose speed by object and pick the point. Make sure it is X in the axis drop-down and input 100 in the multiply section to make it 300 units. This option will allow to change the speed of the moving object depending on the relation between the point and its parent. Let's say we want the car to start with a speed of 0 and increase it to like 300, then decrease it back to 0, then increase it to maybe 900. I'll animate the X position for the point and the tool will take these numbers and change the speed accordingly. There is an option to calculate the spline based on the parent spline. It's helpful if you want to apply this tool to more than one object. It is possible to change the starting position of the object by changing the shift position number. After finishing the animation, 
I advise to collapse the motion to make the animation smoother or if you want to send the file to another person. Simply go to the motion tab and switch to motion paths. Scroll down to conversion tool and enter the start and end frames with the samples equal to the timeline duration. Then click on Collapse button inside Collapse Transform Group. Now, if you switch back to Parameters, we will notice the Position Controller is back to the simple position XYZ. To make things even easier, there is an additional helper script. That will automatically assign a path constraint for the selected objects if it is not already applied and with just one click you can apply this MCG tool and start animating. To use the script, drag and drop the script to the viewport or by going to the scripting menu then run script, a window will pop up. Now locate the script file and open it. A new window similar to the tool window will appear. Here in this example, the object has no path constraint to apply to it. I'll choose the car and change some parameters and hit apply it button. This script is very handy if you want to apply this tool on several objects at once. Here we have three cars and three splines. I'll parent each car to a different spline. And change the parameters to speed by object and spline by parent. Then hit apply button. This helper script can also shift the selected object's positions without changing the other settings of the MCG. That was a quick overview of this MCG tool. I hope you find it useful. Download links are in the description. Please like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to share it. Have a great day.